Hello friends, I am making a cucumber cilantro salad and I thought I'd bring you along and share you to you how I make it. I start off with a big cucumber and I just slice it, you know, pretty, um, leaving some of the skin on, taking, you know, cutting it in half and then slicing it and making smaller pieces you know, little bite-sized pieces. So you, the directions say to use a to use six medium cucumbers, but I have a large one that I got at the farmer's market, so I decided just to use that. This is my favorite, favorite peeler that I got at Topsfield Fair in Massachusetts. I absolutely love this peeler. I've had it for years, and that end piece is good for, like, digging out, you know, ugly, crappy stuff on veggies. So I am just... The, uh, farm, <laughs> the farmer's market cucumbers have a lot of seeds. So I just cut it up in small, bite-sized pieces... Put it in a big bowl so that we can mix it all up. <clears throat> this recipe serves four people, but uh, probably just one or two in my in my world, <laughs> in my life. But um, I'll probably eat the whole cucumber, probably that entire day, you know, or half of it with my daughter. And then you have to watch out for the little cucumber thief that's coming up behind me. <laughs> he loves his veggies, just like his meme. So after I cut up all the cucumber, I gather up all my ingredients and add it to this big bowl. And you marinate it for about an hour. I have marinated it overnight, but I found that the cucumbers get a little bit too soggy. So here we have some lime juice. I'm going to add six tablespoons of lime juice. It's probably like, I don't know, one tablespoon per cucumber, but I just use what the directions say for, you know, the six cucumbers. So I use six tablespoons of lime juice. If you have a little extra marinade, it's not a big deal. So that's what I do. And then... After the lime juice, let's see, what am I going to add after the lime juice? I am going to add, let me see, oh, cilantro. Yes, well, it's a lot better if you have fresh cilantro, but I didn't have any fresh cilantro, so I used up um, the jar of cilantro. I mean, it's it's fine, it tastes fine, but... I like the greener color of the fresh. And I know a lot of people hate cilantro, so you can substitute this and use parsley. And then I'm going to add some, um, the recipe calls for soy sauce, but I didn't have any low sodium soy sauce, so I'm using coconut aminos, and I used one tablespoon of that. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of chili powder. If you don't like the heat of the chili powder, you don't have to put it in. But a little smoked paprika tastes a little bit, tastes a little good in here too. Wow, my English is not good. <laughs> Pardon me. Anyway, so I use that. And then I used, uh, I used some cumin, but the recipe calls for coriander, ground coriander. And I didn't have any, so I put in about three quarters or so, I used about a teaspoon of cumin. So then I just mixed that all up and I just stored it in the refrigerator. I couldn't find any containers. They were all either filled or dirty, so I threw it all into a Ziploc bag. So this is really good as a side dish for when you have cookouts or 
when you don't really feel like cooking much, you can just make a salad and throw that on top or make some rice and throw that on top of the rice. It's just almost like a Chinese food kind of deal. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. I hope you try this recipe and let me know in the comments below if you have and how you liked it.